Right, I'm back home following the game today between Luton Town and Manchester United. And Luton lost 2-1 at home. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to beat any of the you know top six teams in the Premier League. We've come close, but unfortunately, just haven't been able to get over the line. Today's performance, I am proud of the boys. Don't get me wrong, I, I do want to make that point. I am proud of them. I am proud of the response after going 2-0 down today. But I do think we did deserve to lose the football match today. Although we did pile on so much pressure, I do think the result was a fair result because of the United chances, which we will talk about later on in the video. But let's talk about the starting eleven. Unfortunately, we had some bad news before the game where Elijah Adebayo pulled up in the warm-up. Unfortunately, that was a killer because for me, I thought today would have been perfect for Elijah Adebayo and it also would have been perfect for Jacob Brown as well, but he was not in the team. When you play against Manchester United the way we did today, you need more, you know, I say players in the box. You need to have more target men in the box. And I felt Elijah, he would have been in between the you know the goalposts, the same with Morris, and they would have gave it a real aggressive, you know, brave approach um, in attacking crosses. But without Elijah, we kind of, we lacked a little bit of something in the box. We didn't have, the ball wasn't going to the right places. We weren't getting enough opportunities. We created a lot of half chances today. We got into the right areas, but we just didn't able to take it to the next level, which was to actually have an opportunity at goal, which was to test the keeper a bit more, which was to score more goals. We were unable to do that. But let's talk about the first 15 minutes of the game. It was cagey in the first minute. You know, you couldn't tell me that United were going to score in the first minute. However, we can't do what we did. Amari Bell, I'm not his biggest fan. I've, I feel like I've said that so many times on my videos. I will never be his biggest fan. I just think he's too error prone. He makes too many mistakes. Okay, he can be really good at progressing the ball at his feet and progressing up the pitch. I understand that argument. I understand he's left footed, so he suits the system in that way. But for me, he makes too many mistakes. And today he made a massive error, which, you know, cost us massively. You can't do what you do, like what he did. You just can't do that. Anything but give the ball to the United player. I wouldn't mind if he gave the ball to me in the stand. I couldn't care what you do. But you don't give it to a United player, man. Any team, it doesn't matter what level you're playing at. If you give a striker an opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one at goal, they are going to punish you. They're going to try it. And you're hoping that you keep and get you out of trouble. But, you know, the chances of them scoring, it's 9 out of 10. It's very, it's very strong. Unfortunately, we weren't able to stop that from happening. But then, the way we reacted after United's goal was not good enough. We didn't get out of first gear. United were at us 100 miles an hour. They got their second, and it was a bit of luck. You know, it can't, it comes off the United player's chest or whatever. It hits him off his body. I'm sure, it, you know, 9 out of 10 times that doesn't happen. But unfortunately, it deflected off him and it went in. And then you're 2-0 down. If you're going to go 2-0 down... You rather it happened in the first 10 minutes of the match rather than later on in the game. And the biggest thing about going 2-0 down after 10 minutes is you've got 80 minutes to get back in the game and, you know, try and score more goals, which we ended up doing. We reacted, we responded back, and United kind of performed completely different after they got their second goal. I don't understand why they did that. They completely dropped the gears and we went at them and we did get some opportunities ourselves. We did get the goal. I think Chong put a ball in. Um, he fell to him in the box. He manages to wrap his foot round it. it falls to Morris. Um, you know, right place at the right time in the box in between you know the goal posts. And you know we get a goal back. And then we pile on the pressure even more. We get more opportunities. You know, we get we're causing them problems down the wings. You know, we're getting their players booked. Talking about players being booked, Casemiro should have been sent off. I don't understand how the referee did not give this. Just been booked, been given a yellow card. His second challenge was a sending off. It's blatantly obvious. And I don't understand why VAR can't intervene. I know it's only for yellow card, um, for red cards and more serious stuff. But this, it was a second yellow. It, he should have been sent off. And then I look at the Maguire situation. Maguire got given a yellow card after his third foul. 
His first two fouls, his first foul, he stopped a counter-attack from happening. He wiped our player out. That's a yellow card every day of the week. No questions asked. But yet, the referee gave him a warning. He fouls again. Second time now. So you think after the second one, you get given a yellow card. No, he gets away with it again. And then for the third time, Morris, I think, goes one-on-one -on -one with him. He beats him, and then Maguire dives in, gets the yellow card eventually. But... He should have been on a yellow card already. And if he was on a yellow card already at that point, Morris getting round him, Maguire may have not fouled him or he would have fouled him again and he, and he could have been sent off. So it, it's weak refereeing. Luke Shaw got given a book in, um, which was deserved, but he ended up getting a little injury. But uh, come on, man, like referees, man. I thought the lino got a massive offside call wrong today. Um, it's just a lack of knowing the rules. And then... Telling the Manchester United keeper to hurry up. Why are you warning him? Why do you give him a warning? Oh, look, I'm going to pause the, sh you know, your watch. What? I don't understand. That doesn't solve anything. No one cares. Just book the player. And then he stops time wasting. Then you don't have to keep going like that. I just don't get it with officials. They're so weak. They are so weak at making decisions. It's ridiculous. You always need, like, a strong referee, but it happens... Every every single week, it's already hard enough competing against eleven Manchester United players. We don't need to be competing against three other officials as well. We really don't. But at half time, two one. Okay, you know you're still in the game. Just quickly, it's just come to my head. Barkley had a fantastic opportunity in the first half where he laid it off the Corley Woodrow, and I don't understand why. I don't understand why he didn't just shoot. Barkley for me is fantastic. I love him. Why does he always want to score the perfect goal or, you know, score the 30 yarder? Just shoot. You know, you've got the quality, you've got the ability. Why are you not shooting? And that really frustrated me there. But 2 1, we had opportunities, we really did in the first half, but unfortunately, we're still trail, we were still training at half time. Come back in the sec second half. We, we kept going. Obviously, the only way United were going to score was through counter-attacking. And they were putting the ball over the top to our defence. And we were getting outnumbered. We were getting outpaced. And they had a few opportunities where Kaminsky kept us in the game. They There were one-on-one -on -one opportunities with our goalkeeper. I don't know how they didn't score more goals. That's why I'm saying United should have ideally won the game by more. Um, and should have won because of... You know, they had like three golden opportunities to score. And if they scored the third, it would have been game, set and match right there. But they didn't. We managed to keep it in the game. Kaminsky kept us in the game extremely well. But defensively, I thought we were very poor. Across the back three or five, whatever you want to call it, we were very poor today. We just got split open far too easily. I thought the midfield were really good today. I thought Barkley and Okonga was outstanding. I thought the Okonga was absolutely brilliant. That goal line clearance toward, um, you know at one point during the game in the second half was outstanding to stop Bruno Fernandes from scoring was brilliant and, and then obviously going forward the way they progressed with the ball I thought it was fantastic their passing as well their technical ability everything about what them two players in particular were doing I thought it was brilliant but the one thing that let us down in the second half today was we became too it was too easy for United to defend against we didn't really test the keeper much and we needed more players in the box I, I was wanting Rob Edwards to change the formation today because I felt the formation wasn't right. We needed to take off the wingers and put more midfielders on and try and split United open through the middle. We didn't try that as much as we, I wanted us to do. I'm not trying to say let's play like Man, like Man City because I know we can't do that. But when Man City don't have Harlan and they know that crosses into the box are not working, they try something different. They try and play through the middle. And that's what I felt we should have done today and tried to do. Um, but no, we kept trying to go to the you know, to our wide players and kept putting crosses into the box. But that just it was easy for United to defend against and we weren't testing the keeper and well enough. And I do felt we did miss Elijah Adebayo today and we also missed Jacob Brown as well. Just those two players had massive aerial threat. Um, we just we lacked a bit of that in my opinion and I felt like Luke Berry he should have came on a little bit earlier than he did I felt like we should have just changed it completely um, and I'm not saying use the diamond formation but you know have more midfielders and try and split um, United open through the middle because we got in the right positions but the lack of bit of quality towards the end lack the decision making I felt the personnel just wasn't right for us to overcome the 2-0 um, point and yeah to try and obviously get back into the game but 
unfortunately we do walk away with a 2-1 defeat we need to start winning our home games i don't know what it is about our home form our waveform is always better for some weird reason and it has been over the last two years it's a bit strange that i don't understand why we need to start winning at home we have got winnable home games coming up we have got to play teams around us in the premier league at home if we're gonna stay up in the premier league we've got to beat those teams fulham at home not for us at home brentford at home everton at home you've got to beat those teams you know palace away from home Bournemouth at home, Bournemouth away. If you're gonna stay up, you've got to beat. You've got to win. You just have to. Um, but you know, it's in our hands. We can worry about other teams as much as we want. Got to worry about ourselves. We've got to worry about the teams who we've got to play against. We're in control. If we win our home games, we stay up. It's as simple as that. But we've got to win our home games. I know it sounds really easy to say, but that's what we've got to do. It's, it's not rocket science. Don't overcomplicate it. Win our home games. We can lose every away game in the Premier League if we wanted to. As long as we win our home games, that's fine. We will stay up, but got to do it. Got to do that. But yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the response, but, you know, frustrated in moments um, throughout today's game because I do feel we could have done a bit better, but, you know... United walk away with the three points. But yeah, like I say, drop your forks down in the comments. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you all in the next one.